Hi guys, I just communicated on um, Telegram that all you want to do at Telegram is make sure you can use any Linux distribution out there and be in control. And the last thing that I've installed is Debian and Debian 12 it is 0.7.0 net install that's the one I've um, used we're gonna go for graphical click this away and we're bleeding again also on Debian we got this red bleed thing so there's one caveat it's one very important tip in this video and that's gonna come when we create the users spend a lot of wasting my hours until I figured out what I needed to do I need to go to Belgian here, continue. And basically all I did was click, click, click. And what I should have done is read, read, read. We've been all there thinking you know everything while you know nothing. That's a good coffee. Continue, continue. That's a network. This, right, read this. And this is the most important thing. The root user should not have an empty password. And each time I gave the root password, uh, uh, the root a password, which means that the user is not root. I can't type sudo. I'm not going to be in the sudoers group. So until I read this line, should not have an empty password. If you leave this empty, the root account will be disabled. It's okay. Don't panic. And the system's initial user, Eric, will be given the power to become root with sudo. And if I read this, of course, then I said, I don't need to type anything in here. I should stay clear of it. And that's something strange. And there's a, a yeah a screen where you shouldn't type anything in. <laughs> but right, practice makes perfect. And don't care about the time, whatever, right? It's just a test because these days, I'm trying to show you that as an end user, we should be in control, right? I, you know that I love ChatWM. I'm always on there. The ISO builder, so this PC has um, the ISO builder as default. Let me first click a few things here. Continue. And yes, so here we're going to say you need to switch. So you're okay with it. Everything is gone. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, so whenever anything can hit, can hit us, okay? So at some point in time, there was this user saying, I'm fed up with Arch, I'm gonna away from Arch, cool. But it's important as, a, as an end user, you can learn from Arcanlex University, 4,000 at such videos, but if, you have all that shared knowledge then you can should be able to right get that knowledge use that knowledge to work on Debian 12 to work on what did we do uh, of course all the arches but in the video they assumed arch is no more right um, let's stop with arch and go to Debian we've done Debian and in Debian is this one Ubuntu Linux Mint we've done Solus we've done MX Linux as well, there's also Debian. Uh, what else? Fedora, so that's not Debian. Um, yeah, so probably forgetting a few. Linux Mint, yeah. Um, Peppermint OS, that's another one we've done. Meaning, point is, grab, and you see that me do this sometimes in videos, grab code from whatever you'd like to grab it put the code into certain files like themes, dot themes, dot icons, but it can go farther than etc environment, a file or nsswitch.conf. There are critical files on any Linux system, right? And whatever you learn at Arc Linux, I'm applying it everywhere. As a backend, I'd like to have XFCE because I'm going to go to ChatWM and all the rest does not interest me. All the rest is zero interest. But this one interests me. There's Tunar, there is um, Power Manager, there is Screen Shooter, the Terminal. So 
This one is for me great as a backend to surf me, right? It has nothing to do with choosing that desktop specifically, but it is ChatWM is using parts of it. So that's the best approach. And um, that's it, right? Be in control. I said something like in Telegram, paraphrasing. Don't stay with that. Well, we have, you can be in control on one Linux system, but you should be actually be in control on all Linux systems. Should be um, proficient as a word or, or capable of working on other uh, distribution, even though it's not a pseudo apt, but it's going to be an EO packages or, or DNF or something else to manage your packages. And with that comes again the feeling of noob, which is super nice feeling because then you need to search again. How do I install things? How do I remove things? How do this? How do that? Right? Why is it not working? And you go search and that's the fun learning about something else. And then you find yourself more certain of yourself because whatever hits us as an end user, you can just as easily say, click, I'm going to go to Ubuntu. Boof. And everything works, right? I grabbed code for, from Archlinux logout, from Archlinux, uh, Archlinux uh, power menu, from the root, the Bajor C, the ZSH, the fish, right? All these things that are coming from Archlinux, I could get them from Endeavor OS. But that's up to you guys, right? Garuda. Anything out there has configurations, has icons and themes, etc. And basically what I'm, we're doing then is a patchwork, right? It says we're making a blanket with all kinds of patches, an OS with all kinds of bits and pieces, a bit from here, a bit from there, and it can work, right? I was amazed that the Arch Linux logout worked just by putting a few files here, there, there, there. It's not a package, not a Debian package or an RPM. Eh? It's not that, but it's, um, it's doable. It's, if you understand how everything fits together, where everything should be, then ChatWM can be built and all the rest can be installed. And that's the fun. That's the assurance, that's the certainty that you will never be in trouble. Whatever happens to Arch or Arco, you will never be in trouble. You can immediately run Arch Linux Nemesis Ubuntu. You've got ChatWM Ubuntu or Linux Mint Ubuntu or all the others, right? But these two, Ubuntu and Linux Mint, are the ones that go furthest or so really in detail like changing all kinds of little things files that are going to be changed and overwritten so you can learn mostly uh, the most knowledge is in the file uh, ubuntu chat wm or linux mint or well actually mint uh, chat wm but these two will always be compared with melt so but there are naming differences strange right it's it's, it's also Debian, Ubuntu, and uh, Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, but still some of the things seem to have another name. So, yeah, you need to change the 60 hotkey daemon. So the file that launches Control alt v is not Vivaldi, but it is Vivaldi.Vivaldi stable, for example. Something like that, all right? So, small differences, and then you change the file specifically for Linux Mint, and off you go. Wow, I can't talk long. <laughs> In the meantime, it's finished. <laughs> so there you go. Red bleed. We're bleeding out. Okay. You know the drill. Sometimes, depending on the distributor, uh, distribution, and of course the guy who makes it, right control F right control F can or cannot adapt to your resolution. If not, no problem, because we have uh, all kinds of things here to help us with that. Voila. So first things first, sudo apt. Let's do an update first, maybe. Probably nothing there. And then an upgrade. Voila. What I need is sudo apt install git. So 
I need git. Then later on, I need to go to here, create a folder data. I'm gonna grab the code that I need. Git clone HTTPS. If, right, if you get all kind of errors and the saying we're gonna report you because you're not in the Sudoku's group, then you've put in a password in root. Start again. Don't type in a password in root. Okay. GitHub.com slash Harry Dubois. I call Linux Nemesis. So be in control. Choose the Linux distribution that you like and play with it. Maybe you like it and maybe you stay there, right? So settings, sure, where can we find it? The Debian file is here. So I'm gonna change the bar, PyCam is gonna change, run is gonna change, 60 old key daemon, and this is right mouse click. It's not enough, right? I can't compare with melt, can't open as root, stuff like that. And here we're gonna install things. So, can we make this like that? No. <laughs> To each distribution has its own um, way of dealing with these sites. If I do this, and if it's real metal, you just go to the next desktop with VirtualBox, this happens. Anyway, install ChatWM, go for it, my friend. So we're in Bookworm, and all you do is follow, maybe not with LibreOffice, set as default, mousepad is better. Uh, is doing its work. We need to build later on. These are things all for ChatWM, and these are things that we kind of need because of the fact, yeah, we'd like to have a menu and we like to have key bindings and also a menu. This is for your keyboard to say, okay, sound off, sound up, and the next song, next song, things like that. I think this was the next song. And this was the sound, if I remember it correctly. And here you see, we're gonna get stuff, right? This could be Endeavor OS, Git clone. But why reinvent the wheel? I mean, the code is there, grab the code, make sure the code is in the right place. Same applies for Arclinx chat WM. Move it, the execution, so the, the how we execute ChatWM, move it where it should be. Make sure the code is there. So let's have a look. Otherwise, we can't do anything. So control H dot config. This needs to be there. And it can't be uh, all root, right? It should be yours. By that, I mean it should always say Eric, 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 not root. Then you can't change anything. So it goes wrong, but normally, right? If you did everything the same like me, you're good. So in here is ChatWM. In here is the way to build it. And I've even made it super simple with a dot slash rebuild. So this is an application, well, a script to rebuild. So you go change in this one. This is the code for Azerti. This is the code for QWERTY. So I make a copy paste from this content in here and I rebuild it. And now we see, right? You log out. If there were no red things, I don't know if there were anything red. Basically, just run it again. It's super easy, right? Take a look. Everything is there. Well, nothing red. And then we go for a log out, I guess. Log out. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> tee -tee -tee -tee. Too quick. So this and then first go up here. Wait for the bar and there's the bar. So there you go. What's important for you to remember in tiling when it manages on our clicks, it's all the same. Super enter, super shift enter, Super D, the menu, Super Shift D, another menu, Super Q to quit, Super Shift Q to quit, 
And last but not least, Super Shift X, our exit strategy, log out, do whatever, right? In this case, bye bye. So that's how easy it is to install ChatWM on Debian 12 these days. Have fun exploring more Linux systems. Stand on your own two feet on anything out there. That's, well, what we've shown in the series of ChatWM going on N, every distribution and testing it out. Can we just move from A to B and grab everything that we like, even themes and icons and all things, um, configs, whatever, right? Check out Ubuntu um, place. So let, let us end with that. What we're talking about. So is this one, this is the most complete folder. It has even files like this one and it's all going to talk about Fisher and Tide and it's going to have fish configurations. And so it's really, really complete. Even the MIME apps list. So we don't have to say right mouse click, open click and always change that because it's tedious. It's going to look exactly the same. Quantum is there. So black, uh, I want this to be dark and um, it will be dark, right? It's just everything has been thought about set the cursor is here, we bought a cursor there. I mean, it's it's really the intention that the Ubuntu chat WM is a 100% equivalent of Arch Linux, 100% same. Then I sit down as an end user and I say, don't see what it is. Is, is this Arch Linux now or, or should I type eh? sudo pacman or apt? All right, enjoy.